Welcome to today's session. I will be discussing the first cure for a lean pass as was taught by the richest man in Babylon, Akkad. So, the first cure is to start thy pass to fattening. This is what Akkad said, the first storehouse of my treasure was a well pass. I loathed its useless emptiness. I desired it round and full, clinking with the sound of gold. Therefore, I sought the remedy for a lean pass. Akkad says that anyone earning an income can fatten their pass irrespective of their occupation. His money classes were attended by everyday citizens including egg merchants, butchers, florists, and so on. To quote his words, ye can see that there are many trades and labors at which men may earn coins. Each of the ways of earning is a stream of gold from which the worker doth divert by his labors a portion to his own pass. Let me emphasize this because one can often think that their job is trivial and defer fattening their pass to a later date. Ever heard someone say the grass is greener on the other side? Whatever your vocation, so long as you are earning an income, you can fatten your pass. So, what is the meaning of starting thy pass to fattening? This simply means saving money every pay period. Irrespective of when you get paid, every time you earn to need to set aside some funds. Akkad says, a part of all you earn is yours to keep additionally, he says, for every ten coins thou placest within thy pass take out for use but nine. Thy pass will start to fatten at once, and its increasing weight will feel good in thy hand and bring satisfaction to thy soul. You may think all your net pay belongs to you, but often you give the money to everyone but yourself when you don't save a portion. For instance, you will use the funds to pay for housing, food, and other necessities and pay for your wants depending on your lifestyle. For most people, this scenario will sound familiar. You spend weeks looking forward to your next payday, but then the day arrives you get paid. Then, money flies out of your account faster than it went in. When it comes to saving, we have three groups of people. Group 1, those who never save or never fatten their passes. Usually, these people have many excuses for not saving money. For example, their income is little, they can hardly make ends meet, saving is for broke people, and others will say I'm too young to save, and so on. Whatever the excuse, this person lives from paycheck to paycheck since all money earned slips away from them. Hence their wallets or passes remain thin or empty. Group 2, those who save occasionally, or fatten their passes occasionally. These people have some level of savings. However, the savings are not sufficient. They perceive saving as a last resort, once they pay all bills, they will save whatever is left, if at all is left. While this person has some savings, they still cannot build a sound financial future. Group 3, those that save consistently or fatten their passes every time they earn money. These people have mastered the art of fattening their passes and turned it into a habit. People in this group are purposeful in saving money every time they earn money. Further saving is usually the first step before spending. To get ahead financially, you need to implement the first cure to a lean pass. Save a portion of your income every pay period and do so consistently. Why is saving important? The richest man in Babylon said, This is the first step leading to the temple of wealth, and no man may climb who cannot plant his feet firmly upon the first step. How much should one save? Akkad advised that one ought to save 10% of their net income. Today, at this percentage is still applauded by many financial advisors. However, it is not cast in stone, so you can save more depending on your life aspirations. He also recommended that people use the pay yourself first concept. Paying yourself first means that before you pay anyone or spend on essential living expenses, put money in your savings account first. Saving 10% is difficult if one has not acquired the habit. Also, it's hard to save when you don't know what you are saving for. The steps to fattening your pass are 1. Create financial goals. Goals clarify why you are saving money. Goals energize and they cause you to be intentional with your money. I invite you to watch my video on creating financial goals. 2. 
Decide on the amount you intend to save. Start saving at your level. If saving 10% of your net income is too much, start with a comfortable percentage for you, say 1%, then purpose to save consistently. As time progresses keep increasing your percentage, eventually you will be able to arrive at the 10% mark and even surpass it depending on your financial goals. I have a video that explains the pay yourself fast concept. Please be sure to watch it to understand how to implement that. 3. Have a separate saving account. It is hard to keep savings in your spending account. Chances are you will spend the funds in your checking account. So open a saving account. 4. Automate your savings. The best way to ensure that you save consistently every pay period is to automate it. Set up an automatic transfer every pay period from your checking account to your savings account so you never even have to think about it. Automating your savings makes life so much easier because you never have to negotiate with yourself over whether you will save this month or not. Instead, the money is moved over automatically for you. Thank you for watching. If the video was helpful, leave a comment below and like it. Additionally, please share the video with others and remember to subscribe. Here is another video to watch.